Good day from Tokyo Disney Sea. Today we're gonna check out some more attractions, eat some awesome food. But Duffy is super popular here, and there's Duffy photo spots all around the park. We're gonna try and find them on our own because the app shows you where they're at. We're just gonna find them on our own. We don't have a Duffy though. So in Tokyo, in one of the arcades, I want Sarah this little uh, what is it? It's a shark dog. Yeah, it's a shark dog, and uh, it took three tries to win. So we got our little 300 yen guy. He's our knockoff Duffy. So what are we calling him? Darfy. Darfy. Yeah, Darfy. So we're going to find the photo spots and do it with Darfy. We've got the entryway to the park over here, but something so easy to miss is directly behind in front of the train station. You've got Walt and Mick. It's a pretty cool statue here that most people walk by because, again, it's kind of tucked here in the back. Heading on in. 20th anniversary of Tokyo Disney Sea still. There are a lot of stalls open today and cart town as well. Haven't seen these here before. You got some characters back there too. I love that they have the cat as well. So many awesome rare characters here. I feel like there'd probably be a Duffy spot somewhere here around Mount Prometheus. Keep our eyes peeled. Actually, we've never been up that way before. You want to see what it is? Yes. Some more cleverly hidden vending machines here. However, they never have a large variety. They keep it pretty simple in these parks. We're actually going to check out Soarin' Fantastic Flight to see if it's different than the one in the States. Based on the posters, it looks like it will be. Yeah, look at the theming here. It looks completely different. And this is actually what the attraction poster looks like as well. Very cool. The downside is I don't think we'll get uh, Patrick Warburton for a pre-show then. Yeah, what's the point of even riding? That's like the one good thing Soren has going for it. And we're just making assumptions, but this lady here, Sarah's saying who, what? The Explorer Society? Yeah, she, I feel like she would be a part of it. Yeah, because Harrison Hightower for Tower of Terror is part of the Explorers League. Whoa. And this is completely different. All right, I'm kind of excited now because this theming is awesome. This could easily be the best version of Soren. I say that because we're not fans of Soren at all, really. It's it's fine, but I think it's overrated. It gets huge weights for you're just kind of sitting there hanging on a bench. They put some nice smells in the air. I'll give them that, and they blow a fan at you, and you're like on a rocking chair watching a movie. So, looks like her name is Camilla Falco. And here's her portrait. Kind of weird because the queue and theming of that ride is incredible. So good. They did such an awesome job. They even had like a pre-show. All of that. And a character. You get on the ride, it's just soaring around the world. Same exact ride, except they changed the last scene. Instead of coming into Disney, you're coming into Tokyo Disney Sea. Same ride. So yeah. Yeah, I give it props for theming. Like yeah, theming's incredible. Yeah. I like the theming, but it's the same Soren ride, so. Eh. Walking into the mysterious island, something I just now realized walking by is this hanging here is the sub ride vehicle for 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. That's the ride vehicle. We're gonna go down to the Nautilus Galley to get the Gyoza sausage bun for 500 yen. We haven't been down here yet, but there's a pretty good sized seating area to the left and you can walk up nice and close to the Nautilus. That is so cool. Also, we know that there's a Duffy photo spot right up there that we found last time. So after we eat, we'll go count that as our first one found. You can see a helm in here and a compass through the condensation. That looks almost like a submarine. I don't know if that's an accident or not. All right, let's try it. That gyoza bun was super good. Everything we've eaten in the Disney parks has gone from like really good to fantastic, especially the snacks. So if you see snacks, you can just eat snacks all day. That's what we try to do. Here it is, the first Duffy spot that we found. Go ahead and open it. Put a little Durfy there. Plain. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah, I imagine you take your picture like this or something. It's just so silly that they have these. 
one down, who knows how many to go. Directly across from the Little Mermaid play area, there's this section over here that's closed. Maybe it was a meet and greet? That's what it seems like. We were taking in the view here and thinking, why is this not a Duffy view spot? But just a little further along, before you get to the Arabian coast, there you go. He's just so small and small. Yeah, he is so tiny. So if you look at the example picture of Duffy, you don't really see this because Duffy's are bigger. But this fits in her backpack. And he's just so silly. We're gonna head into the Agrabah Marketplace. We haven't checked this store out yet. The theming in all of these stores is so well done. Do you see any Aladdin stuff or is it all standard theme park? Yeah. Generic theme park stuff except for whatever's back here. It's partially like a crystal shop. They have one over at the Disneyland park inside Cinderella Castle. And they have some of the smaller items here. There's this Sultan's Oasis, which sells a long naan with meat sauce. Looks pretty neat in here. Over here by the construction wall, and just before you get into the Lost River Delta area, here's another little Duffy spot. Oh, so this one, you're supposed to put two. It's Duffy and Shelly May. Yeah, you can't even really get a picture with that. But you'll see you've got some boats, just kind of carelessly drifting. We're gonna go to Expedition Eats to get one of those sausage baguette things. But first we'll do Indiana Jones because it's only five minutes. We found a good seating spot here across from the boat landing, which we still have to do. How is that? <laughs> this is a repeat snack, but it's always so good. It's so good, seasoned so well. Up in the higher part of the Lost River Delta section, across the bridge in the pyramid, we found another spot. That's what it should look like, an appropriate sized <laughs> stuffed figure and not a derfy. Look down here though, we got some pretty interesting seating for the restaurant. Leaving the Lost River Delta area, this looks pretty interesting. It's a sushi roll with shrimp and chicken cutlet. Looking at the picture, it looks like you've got like a shrimp coming out. I'm wondering how the chicken is incorporated. There goes the electric railway. The weather's starting to pick up. Look at this restaurant though. I feel like I hadn't seen it yet. With it raining right now, Aquatopia is a walk-on. You can see a lot of empty boats out here. Over on the side of Aquatopia, <laughs> it's all wet. We've got another Duffy spot. This is the fifth one we found. We found another Duffy spot here. I think this is one of his character friends. Yeah, it's wet. I think so it's guess... the turtle. Oh yeah, that might be the turtle. This one looks different than the others, but I believe they're all different here in this section of the park we're heading to. We thought for sure there would be a Duffy spot up here near the lighthouse, but there's not. Especially like over here, because you get a good view of the area. Just a total random side point we want to make is paper maps. We're like, wait, we never grabbed one or took one for a souvenir, that's because they don't seem to have them. I don't know if they just don't have them or they're not putting them out all easy to get, but we've kind of kept our eyes open and haven't seen any. Too bad. Yeah. Now that we're in the Cape Cod area, which is Duffy's hometown, we've got another one here. This one looks back up at the lighthouse. This is a two-seater. <laughs> it's funny to hear that. Well, there you go. Oh, it doesn't even stay closed. Oh, they tell no, you to so close it. Duffy's gonna get wet if it rains. Yeah, that's too bad. Do you remember the storyline for Duffy? Wasn't it like a bear that Minnie gave to Mickey when he like went off on adventures or something? It sounds familiar. Yeah, so there's actually a storyline for why he's like the Disney bear and all this theming behind it. I just can't remember what it is. Yeah, we laughed that in the New York section in Cape Cod, you get burgers because that's what Americans eat. Pulled pork cheeseburger set? How does that work? Fruit sandwich? Just taking a quick step inside, out of curiosity to see what it looks like in here. Got some murals, it smells good. It smells like french fries. Good old theme park french fries. And I imagine if we come to the right, we get a dining room. 
I do want to point this out though, at all of the restaurants in the park, if you get a cup of water, it's free, they give it to you, and you can just fill up at these. They may look like water fountains, but that's a water fountain. That's a fill up point. Pretty good sized dining room here. I think there's one on the other side as well, and plenty of outside seating. We found this poster in the restaurant as well. Maybe they used to have a show, My Friend Duffy, for showing at Sailor's Hall, but we're trying to remember. I can't remember if Mickey gave it to Minnie to remember him while he's gone, or she gave it to Mickey. It all makes sense now. The other side of this restaurant is the theater itself. So maybe at some point they used to do a show here, we're gonna head over to the American waterfront, but before that, we're stepping down this way because we see a Duffy stand. There's Durfee in his seat, but it's kind of weird. Looking at the picture here, it shows it with the Columbia, but I feel like this spot would be much better suited for the Tower of Terror. Or you could get both of them in there, maybe. Here's another one in front of the Columbia. This one's very elaborate. Looks like it's for Stella Lou. Ding. <laughs> yeah, guess that's one of Duffy's other friends. We haven't been on the Columbia ship yet, so we're stepping inside now, because I believe you can walk around and explore. Up on the bow, looking back at the ship, got the massive anchors. Chains are kind of small though. Let's take a look at the view from here. So you can see Cape Cod back here, Mysterious Island, Mediterranean Harbor, and New York. Ghana looks like it'd be a lot of fun, but not right now with the rain. We have not been back here yet. I thought it was just the entrance to the gondolas, which it is, but there's a heck of a lot to see, including Another Duffy spot. This is the 10th one we found so far. All right, that is gonna do it for our Duffy scavenger hunt using our little Durfee guy. We found 10. Looking on the app, it looks like there's actually 11, so that's pretty good. I'm surprised we even found that many. We weren't trying too, too hard. And some of the pathways we didn't walk down and we thought oh, there might be one there, but it turns out we got almost all of them. So the last one we were missing was in New York, right? Over by the, yeah. Um, got to go on some new rides, try some food, so you have fun. So that is gonna do it. Thank you all for watching. The caravan is moving on.